and welcome to another session on triangles as we discussed in the previous session uh, we are now going to prove the sss similarity criterion in the last session you all observed how we validated this particular criterion which says that if the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional then they are similar right so we saw that in the geogebra demonstration in the previous session if you have not checked that out, I would request you to go there and have a look once and then probably come here and understand the proof. Okay, so let's try and prove this theorem. Okay, so or this particular criteria. So how to go about it? Clearly, first of all, we need to draw a triangle. So let me draw a triangle. So let's take two triangles A, B, C. So this is A, B, C and let me name it as D, E, F. Okay, D, E, F. These are the two triangles with us. Now, uh, what's given? So, let's write the given criteria first. So, given is, what is given guys? So, SSS is already given, right? So, A, B upon D, E is equal to B, C, B, C upon E, F, which is further equal to C, A upon F, D. So, this is given, okay? And we have to prove, so we have to prove that they are similar, these two triangles are similar. Or in other words, angle A is equal to angle D, angle B is equal to angle E, and angle C is equal to angle F. Correct? This is what we need to establish. Okay, so let's now establish it. How to go about it? So first of all, we are going to do a construction again the ideas we already know that is of congruence and let's say basic proportionality theorem which we studied in this series we are going to use them okay so the construction is something like this so i'm marking a point e dash and f dash on de and df respectively such that such that a b is equal to d e dash okay and AC is equal to DF dash. Okay, this is the construction I'm doing. And then I'm joining E dash F dash is joined. Okay, this is the construction. So this is what the construction is about. Okay, now what? Uh, let me just draw a straight line here. Yeah, so this is something. Okay, now. So, how to go about the proof now? So, let's write the proof. Okay. So, what's the first thing, first thing, guys? So, let's first consider triangles ABC and triangle D, E dash and F dash. Okay. Okay. So, clearly, D, E is equal to or D, E dash is equal to AB and and d f dash is equal to ac correct now in triangle def 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 can we not say that de dash by de dash by de is equal to df dash by df why why can we say that because of the simple reason that de dash is equal to ab and df dash is equal to ac given right and we had and we also had this relation that ab by de is equal to ac by df this was given Right? So I have simply rem removed this AB or replaced this AB by DE dash and this AC by DF dash in the given criteria. So you can check this given criteria. So here if you compare these two, this was given and I have made use of that. Correct? And I have simply replaced AB by DE dash and CA by DF dash because that's what I have constructed. I hope this is clear. So let me also take this diagram parallelly wherever I am writing it so that it becomes clear to you all the time. So let me also copy this and paste again and so that I can 
show you the diagram every time I'm doing something in the proof okay so let me just so I'm just for the time being reducing the size of it so that it is in the same frame okay so I hope this is understandable okay now if that is so then uh, what can I say I can say uh, that e dash f dash becomes parallel to e f this follows directly from here and why is that this is converse of converse of bpt isn't it converse of bpt so hence becomes parallel the moment it becomes parallel what can i say i can say that angle d e dash f dash will be equal to d e f and let me call this angle as x both of them right fair enough so this is equal because of corresponding angles these are corresponding angles okay now corresponding angles established next what is next okay so the moment i say that now let's consider in triangles so let us write here in triangles in triangles now notice the triangles carefully d e f i'm saying d first e dash f dash and triangle d e f okay so what's what's there d angle d is common right common angle and angle d e dash f dash is equal to angle d e f which is equal to x just proved above therefore what can we conclude by by a a criteria criterion triangle d e dash f dash is similar to triangle d e f i hope you noticed how did i write the similar sign similar right tilde sign okay these are similar the moment this is similar what do we conclude we conclude that two triangles are similar then their corresponding sides will be proportional as well so hence 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 we can say what can we say d e dash upon d e is equal to e dash f dash upon e f right this is corresponding parts of similar triangle isn't it so can i not now say that if this is so then i'm writing it here but i'm writing but we know that d e dash is equal to a b by construction right by construction therefore what can i say a b by d e is equal to e dash f dash by e f right so just replace this d e dash by a b here right also a b by d e was given to be equal to b c by e f check where was it given here see a b by d e is equal to b c by e f given it was given so i am using that right it is given therefore let the triangles be at sight okay therefore we can say e dash f dash by e f is equal to b c upon e f isn't it if i can say that this means e dash f dash is equal to b c so what did we prove or what did we achieve we achieved that this side b c is equal to this e dash f dash okay e dash f dash now if you see if we take in triangles now in triangle a b c and d e dash f dash what do we see a b is equal to d e dash by construction so i'm writing by construction b c is equal to e dash f dash proved above here proved above and c a is equal to f dash d by construction 
again. Okay, so what do we uh, conclude then? Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle D E dash F dash. Right? See? And by what criteria? By SSS criteria, congruence criteria. So we established that the two triangles are congruent. Therefore, what can we establish? We can say angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle D E dash F dash is equal to angle E which is equal to X. See? Again, by corresponding parts of corresponding triangles CPCT. Isn't it? The moment we establish that, what do we conclude, guys? What do we conclude? That means the two corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, I'm just writing here for the want of space. Therefore, conclusion. Conclusion is angle A is equal to angle E. Sorry, angle D. Angle B is equal to angle E. And hence, the third angle has to be same. Angle C is equal to angle F. Hence, proved. I hope you understood this. Right? So, it was a little bigger proof. So, here, here is the gist of, you know, the entire thing. This is a proof. So, basically, what did we do? We started with uh, uh, the given criteria that the ratios are same. Then we uh, drew to points E dash F dash on the other triangle making AB is equal to DE dash and AC is equal to DF dash and then we established the congruence between them and then eventually found out that angle A was equal to angle D and angle B was equal to angle E and hence we could establish that the two corresponding set of e angles are also equal and hence they are similar triangles meaning thereby if SSS criteria is there if you have uh, all the three sides proportional then automatically um, the angles would be equal and hence the, the two figures would be similar.